In this example, we'll practice writing conditional statements in Excel or any equivalent spreadsheet program. We're told that an accountant needs 15% of her client's income for taxes if the client's income is below 30,000. So notice the conditional statement, if the client's income is below 30,000. If the income is above 30,000, so if the first statement is not true, she needs to withhold 20%. We want to write a statement in Excel that will calculate the amount to withhold if the income is stored in cell A1. So A1 is the income, and we want to write a conditional statement. Remember in Excel, to write a conditional statement, you type in if after putting in equals, and in a cell if you type in equals, then whatever follows it will treat as a formula. So we use the word if, and then in parentheses, we put first the condition, then we put what should be placed in that cell if the condition is true, and then lastly, what should be placed in that cell if the condition is false. So the condition we're gonna have here is the, in, the client's income being below 30,000. So he will say if number A1 is the income less than 30,000. If that's true, if the client's income is below 30,000, then we need to withhold 15%. So the amount that we'll withhold is 15% of the income, 15% of A1, which would be 0.15 times A1. If not, if the income is not below 30,000, in other words, if it's above 30,000, we need to withhold 20%. So if this statement, this condition is false, the amount to withhold is 20% or 0.2 times the income. So there is the statement that we would type in Excel and what would be listed in the cell is the amount to withhold. Again, notice the structure. We type equals to access the function. If, and then in parentheses, we put three pieces. One is the condition, then what should be placed in the cell if that condition is true, and then finally, what should be placed in the cell if that condition is false.